Mr. Sullivan. Uh, Minister, um, our fishers and our fishing communities are going through a very tough and stressful time, as you've outlined, outlined in your opening statement, and other deputies have referred to here today as well. And despite the Brexit deal, there are still many uncertainties. It's my understanding that we still don't know exactly the quotas and the total allowable catch that will be shared amongst the sector or what the sustainability criteria that will be applied to that. We can't guarantee the scientific advice on sustainable fishing will be applied to UK waters and there's indication that the UK is preparing to invest heavily in refitting their fishing fleet while weaker protections for the sustainability of their fish stock has been introduced. These are all very worrying when we share neighbouring waters. At EU level, there are legal commitments to have ended overfishing by last year, but this has not been achieved. And we are committed to the EU biodiversity strategy target and our programme for government commitment to designate 30% of our marine area as um, marine protected areas. And that process is starting. And Minister, as you'll know, a marine protected area doesn't mean that you can't do anything in that area. It doesn't neutralise it. It just means that it's managed and managed in a way that conserves that area and protects it. Through our Marine Planning Development Management Bill, we will be addressing how the ambitious and challenging development of large-scale offshore renewable energy will be, will be managed. And this process needs to work closely with our fishers, especially on the Irish Sea, which would be the first place that, that that work is carried out. The offshore renewable industry will create many jobs and bring economic benefit to our coastal communities. And ports like Wicklow and Arklow in my own constituency are ideal bases to serve the supply chain for, for the offshore industry. And there are opportunities for those in the fishing industry with such good local knowledge and experience to benefit, to become part of that supply chain or to change skills and to work in that industry. And I think that's an area that we need to look at with people who are in the fishing industry. It's also important that there's good coordinated cooperation between the fishing community and the offshore developers when surveys or works or, or may temporarily prevent fishing within those areas where those works are going on. So, Minister, protecting and preserving our marine environment is the most important measure we can take to assist our fishing communities. Our marine environment is under serious and continuous threat and is very damaged. Marine biodiversity is in as much trouble as our terrestrial biodiversity. I asked environmental NGOs recently at our Joint Oireachtas Committee what has been the biggest negative impact on our marine environment, and their answer was clear, fishing. So, Minister, I'd ask that you urgently engage across all sectors of, of government to ensure that the establishment of the marine protected areas, marine environmental protection and conservation of marine species is carried out with the highest level of scientific expertise, that we, that we take that advice and that we work in close consultation with all those st stakeholders involved, particularly the fishing community, as well as environmental and community representatives. And I'd also ask that you assist with fishing representatives to engage with the offshore renewable energy industry so that there's good cooperation, benefit and understanding of the development that will take place over the next few years and the opportunities that that development will present. Thank you, Minister. Thank you, Lasker. Thank you. I might just, just respond and, and, say, and thank Deputy Matthews for his contribution and his, his insight into the issue and uh, the, the future of, of our fishing sector. And I think uh, I would certainly concur that there is a very sustainable uh, and healthy future for our fishing sector. We have to work. This has been a, a, a significant moment. Um, obviously, we've had Brexit hanging over us for the last uh, three, four years at this stage, um, and, and all of the damage that it could potentially do. And while the worst impacts of it certainly were, 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 were avoided, uh, uh, thankfully, there has been an impact which we have to work with the sector to adjust to and then help it to grow and be uh, a strong, sustainable livelihood and sector into the future. Um, and uh, I acknowledge the, the, the uh, Deputy, Deputy Matthews' um, uh, contribution and remarks in relation to how we can do that. Thank you. Deputy Chris